Why hello there, I'm Doseku, and welcome back to Super Five Nights at Freddy's. Today, we're going to enter into Night 4, and we're going to actually finally take the fight back to the uh, guard. Let's go in and show them why it's a bad idea to be a night guard at a pizzeria. Of course, things start off where we left off uh, last time, with dialogue that we started the night on. Again, that number is around 81. And here we are. We are ready to go. We're ready to hit the night guard up and see what we get, right? So let's find out. Yep, even the objective agrees with us. Alright, so a little thing about this night is, um, there's nothing to do here. This is technically the end game. Our whole goal is to just make it to the uh, guard and then that's where we stop. So if you haven't completed any of your uh, side objectives at this point, like, oh, I don't know, helping Shadow Bonnie, it's already too late for that. We get to control the purple guy for once, but we can't leave. Alright, so let's do what we came here to do and murder a little kid. And interestingly enough, uh, this game actually does follow the lore a little bit. Um, thing is, uh, purple guy is uh, one of the Afton brothers, who is also happens to be one of the uh, co-founders to the uh, was it Freddy Fazbear's franchise. What was it his son? Oh. Yeah, actually, I, I don't know how many Aftons there actually are. I know one of them was uh, killed. And we're playing uh, as the murderer one. I think there was a third. It might have been the son. Uh, son? No. And, um... That's what happens when a uh, spring crap suit disengages its safeties and locks into, uh, well, animatronic mode. Kills whoever's inside. Now that's a fun little reference to uh, Sister Location, which takes place well before this game. For those of you who haven't played it, that's actually one of the only Five Nights games that actually has the story integrated into the game itself and not as some weird uh, side thing that you have to go and find. Well, except for the fact to find out what happened to his daughter, but 
the the main animatronic in that one basically tells you in one of the cutscenes. Essentially, uh, Mr. Afton's daughter uh, was killed by one of his uh, earlier animatronics, uh, Baby. Essentially, the thing was designed to uh, wait till there was one kid in the room, uh, dispense of uh, what was it, ice cream out of its belly, and as the kid approached, a claw hand would come out and grab it and bring it back in, bring it inside the robot to be taken back to Mr. Afton for experimentation. I don't remember the reason why he did something like that. I, one of the theories I've read on that is the fact that uh, one of his other kids died during the bite of 87, possibly. And he's technically dead, and Mr. Afton's trying to put his soul back in his body somehow. But it, again, it's, it's interesting that this game somehow takes into account the fourth game. Or, I'm sorry, the fifth game in the series. In fact, you don't even get his name until, uh, what is it, the uh, Five Nights RPG that, that came out and then uh, disappeared soon after. Oh yeah, if you can't read it on that wall there, which it looks like it's too dark, uh, somebody scrawled It's Me onto it. Now, again, I will give this game credit, I do like this game, and I do enjoy the how it does actually try to tie in the lore into its own narrative. And again, we don't have to do any crazy looking around for it either. It's actually part of the game itself, so you can actually get characterizations and try to emphasize with what's going on. I'm actually kind of wondering, why did the mother leave the kids with a complete stranger at a restaurant all by themselves? There should have been some kind of adult supervision besides the one employee that that place seemed to have at that time. Alright, well, let's roll into this. Oh. Alright, so... This is actually kind of interesting. The voice that's on the phone... Sounds... A lot like Phone Guy from the first game. Which I guess makes sense with the fact that they're not actually using the total clips because then they would not actually match up to what's being said. The hello portion certainly did, and the rest of it comes up after like the er, um. So it kind of makes you wonder if uh, Officer Dawkins here is the one that called up the player in the first game. Which I don't believe anybody's actually ever figured out. He's usually just referred to as the phone guy, who uh, some people have thought was the murderer in the first game. Although the phone guy does come back in game 3 after Surfer Bro decides to use the rest of the nights to play training uh, for messages.
All right, it's go time. Huh, something doesn't look right here. First thing I'll probably say that doesn't look right is the fact that Freddy decides to walk across the room before playing his uh, song. Well, in the games, he usually just showed up on the outside the left door and did it before he jump scared you to death. Which begs the question, how in the hell did the door stay down then? Usually somebody has to be on the inside to do it, because they don't activate from the outside at all. So if Purple Guy was here, he brought down the doors and somehow escaped before any of the animatronics even noticed him. Yeah, you say he did that for nothing, but... Eh. Oh. Hmm. That's why there's no one here. So if you actually look around the sides of the uh, main article here, um, you can actually see, uh, was it developer commentary? Like how the uh, lower article talks about how the game took a year to develop. Which makes sense, this thing's got a lot of effort put into it. The center article looks like it's a direct quote from the end of the first game if you successfully make it through all five nights. Or is it the secret stuff for that one? I don't remember. Huh. 
Uh, <laughs> well, now that uh, that is not good. I really don't want to let the game end on that somber note. So join me next time as we actually uh, scrub through the game once more and uh, see if we can't do what's necessary to get the good ending. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you later.